Mike Bond joined today by former UFC champion Carla Esparza. Carla, how are we doing? Doing great. Yeah, we are uh, fresh off a fight announcement too. I know it'd been a little bit of a wait for you to get back in there. You were waiting for a fight and now you're fighting uh, Yan Jaonan on May 22nd. How excited are you for this fight? Oh, I'm super excited. I've been hungry to fight for a while. I even um, had taken like a last minute opportunity, three week notice for December 12th, but the fight didn't go through. But I've been ready for a while, so excited to finally have one out there. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, coming off the last fight too, was, did it take a little while to recover physically from that? Cause it seemed like you had a shiner for a few weeks. Was that like one of the worst injuries you've had in a fight? Oh, definitely not. I've had broken, broken nose, broken face bones, this, that I've been messed up pretty bad in the fights over the years, but this, you know, a shiner is just no biggie. I had like a couple stitches that just needed to heal up, but definitely wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's great. And then obviously, you know, since then, it's just been kind of uncertainty with the strawweight division, right? Like we've been seemingly trending towards a fight between yeah, Rose Namajunas and uh, Zhang Wali, but Dana White was out there saying, you know, potentially you could be there if things don't work out. What was kind of your knowledge of just everything that was going on? And have you been close to, you know, getting put in that title fight? What was kind of your, your knowledge of how all that unfolded? Um, you know, I just know that there is a lot of things going on on both ends with um, with Rose and Whaley. So, you know, I was just kind of ready to step up at any point. You know, like to me, that's a huge opportunity. It's, you know, building my way back up after like, you know, six plus years is just like, you know, it's a dream come true to even be in the talks to have that fight again. So, you know, I've been ready for it, but... You know, you never know what's going to happen, too. So, you know, but I, I'm still I still have my mind on that prize. So, like, you know, fighting, um, fighting Jan to me is just it's just another step on my path. Like, I know I'm going to win this fight and I know that that title that title fight is mine next. So when this was all like kind of coming out in the media and Dana was doing his interviews, were you like training hard being like, okay, this could come up for me at any point here. And you just kind of had to be ready for whatever date, whatever opportunity may come up. Well, definitely. And that's what's been kind of hard, too, is I've kind of been on this tough training road for a while. Like, I've been kind of, you know, am I going to fight this month, this month, this month? So always kind of just trying to, to be ready, you know, at, at, on a short uh, short notice. But, you know, so I think after I found out that, um, you know, it was potentially not going to be for a few months, I took a little bit of time off because it's hard to kind of be in that high gear all the time. But, um, yeah, no, I, I've definitely been staying ready and I've you know, I've had a lot of time in between, you know, since my last fight, but, you know, I, I've been making good use of that time. I've been, you know, training, working on a lot of different things in my striking and in my jujitsu game that I hope to show. Yeah. Do you feel like it'll be, what, 10 or so months between fights by the time you get in there, maybe a little bit less? And, you know, for you, like, obviously you have so much momentum in one side right now, but at the other side, that's a, that's a long break. So is it a little bit frustrating in that sense that you just couldn't keep the ball rolling in a way? You know, it is a little bit frustrating, just especially getting that little teaser, you know, in, in November about potentially fighting on December 12th. You know, I, I got I was like amped up and ready. I was like, got this title fight. Let's do this. And then, you know, just to have to wait, you know, another six months after that has been kind of hard. But uh, the way I look at it is that's just more time to grow, more time to learn, more time to improve. Yeah, and there's, I mean, obviously, as a former champion, you know this, but as the fights get more high level, right, like there's more time in between the things are hard to negotiate and all these little aspects, right? So that's why we see the very top of the weight classes that are usually more inactive. More what? More like inactive. There's not as many fights once you reach that yeah. very, very top of the division. Yeah, I know. That's kind of what's tough. I feel like when you're a little bit more mid-level or lower level, you can jump in on, you know, at any fight. You can fight anybody. The divisions are big. You can, but once you're in like the top five, there's only certain fights that really make sense because, you know, I don't, I don't see the matchmakers put in like a top five with like a, a non-ranked person. And if people in that division are tied up with fights or injuries or whatever it may be, then it's just, you know, especially if you've kind of already fought everyone in the division, yeah. you know, it's just, it, it, it can be a little bit tough to, to play that waiting game. Yeah, so Yan is kind of a fresh matchup, obviously, you haven't fought her yet. Um, what have you thought of her run in the UFC so far? Um, I think she's just another up-and-comer, you know, a good fighter, fast striking. Um, I, I haven't seen her too much, you know, um, I just kind of started studying her recently. But, um, you know, she, uh, she's obviously where she's at for a reason. I know she recently had a big win over Claudia. Um, so to me, it's just, 
you know, another tough fighter uh, in the division. Like, I, I've been fighting the best of the best for so long. To me, it's just, you know, just another one. You know, it's I've won and I've lost against some of the best in the world. So, to me, it's going to be nothing new, but I think it's going to be more of like a test for her to see where she's at. And, you know, I'm hoping to, you know, not not to be disrespectful, but kind of like put her back in her place and take take what's rightfully mine. Yeah, do you relish that that place you know, kind of being in the way you're her test you're the big test for her but for you you get to prove that hey yeah I, this is my spot there's a reason i'm at the top of the division there's a reason i'm a former champion yeah definitely and and i feel like i've been in that position a lot of times i fought actually a lot of these undefeated up-and-comers you know the next big thing and i i feel like i've kind of been a gate gatekeeper in a way of of the division of like you know who's ready to, to pass on you know to potentially like be ready for that title but you know I've been in that position so long and I've been beating like very tough competition for so long I feel like it's my shot now like I've built my way back here and and I'm ready and you know this is another another challenge and um, she's a, a really great fighter and you know just another another step on my road has there been a change in mindset with you like after this winning streak because I know a few years ago when you, the title would get brought up there would always be talk of oh the Joanna rematch or just these little things and you were kind of pushing off a little bit was there something that happened or just the confidence through these wins or just timing you feel is right that you're a little more vocal about getting back to that title fight now? Um, definitely. I mean, I, I'm not one to kind of speak ahead of myself but I feel with what I've done so far like I, I've earned my spot like there's the proof is in, in what I've, you know, accomplished in these last four fights. I've had very tough competition. And not only that, but I actually did have to change my mindset, you know, a, a couple of years ago because I did come off for the first time in my career, two losses in a row. And um, to me, it's like, what are you going to do in this sport? Are you going to stay on this road? Or are you going to go to the drawing board, take a look at yourself, you know, and evolve? And that's what I had to do. And I feel like I've made a lot of changes since then. And you know, I feel like my four fight win streak shows that and, you know, I think it's just all that combined makes me feel like more confident and in, in saying that I that I am ready for this title fight. Yeah, it seems like the timing with this fight with Jan could be perfect too. Like we don't know exactly when Rose and Wally are going to have their fight, but it's probably going to be you know, within a month before, maybe right around your fight or a month after, something like that. So it seems like the timing could be absolutely perfect. You win here and I assume the goal is you fight the winner. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, I'm not looking past Jan. Like, she's very tough competition. Her striking's very crisp. She, you know, she's a great fighter. But, you know, to me, it's like, I know that in my heart that that's my fight. And, like, nothing's going to stand in the way of me getting there. Well, it seems like uh, Chinese MMA is really blowing up. It could be on you here to kind of derail to their, their big names if you beat Yan and then if uh, Wally beats Rose. But do you think, who do you think wins that title fight if they do end up making this happen between Rose and Wally? You know, that's a tough one um, because, you know, I've, I feel that Rose has really, like, evolved over the years. You know, we fought a long time ago, and I feel like she, she was an upcoming star back then, and she just keeps getting better and better, and, She's beat some of the best strikers at their own game, you know, like Joanna twice, mm -hmm. you know. So for me, it just shows that she's a bad matchup for a lot of these strikers, and she's very talented. But then you also have Wei Li, who's kind of come out of nowhere and just, you know, like became like a star on the scene so fast. And she's just so powerful. And, you know, you can just tell she has a, like a lot of like st size and strength on her that's, uh, I think, a lot for anyone to deal with. So... Um, if I had to choose on that fight, I think it, I think it'd probably be another war, you know, like it'd be hard to match the Joanna Whaley war, but you know, I think it'd, it'd be a close one. Uh, I'm going to give the edge to Rose, but <laughs> you know, anything can happen. Yeah. Was there any talk at any point of like you maybe being a backup fighter for anything like that? Or was it in your mind? Like I'm either going to be in this title fight, like I'm not weighing in and not fighting and doing all these things. Like I'm either in or I'm out. Um, you know, um, I think there were, I mean, honestly, I, I think with the way the world is right now, with the craziness with, with COVID, it's not outside of my, the realm of my thought that that's still a possibility for me, just with the, the way that things are happening. You know, um, like I said, I've been ready and I'm still ready. So, you know, back up or not, like, it's you know if it's if it's comes to that i'll take the fight if not i have another opponent that i'm getting ready for right now too so um yeah i'm gonna be in shape and be ready for whatever comes my way 
and last thing, do you think what you just said there, it's like, it's almost the changing mentality of what you, you fighters have to go through, like this standage. Like it seemed like at the very beginning of when the UFC got started, you know, is anyone, you just show up and you don't know who you're fighting, what kind of style, these kind of things. And then, you know, it got so, so much planning and preparation for the single opponent and all these things. And now it's like, you don't know what the circumstances are going to be. You can be a co-main event and bumped up to a main event on one day's notice. Like there's all these elements that go on and you just have to probably mentally prepare for every different scenario at this point yeah i mean that's just how it is these days with covid like people filling in on days notice like i know a lot of people like you know so many fights have been so many people have gotten these great opportunities that maybe if covid wasn't going on in the world like that they wouldn't have gotten but all you can do is take take these opportunities like that are in front of you and you know and go with them and for me like that type of situation that mentality it's like i i just i was just telling my manager you know the other day i was like basically like i'm ready for whatever now i'm gonna look at it like it's tough again like the ultimate fighter you have to be ready to fight anyone on a day's notice and that's just how it is and that's kind of what i'm going into this like yeah, well that led to you to your first ufc belt so maybe it leads back to it again so either way i really appreciate the time carla and looking forward to seeing you back in there in may